Hey, it's the Coding Universe here, and this is episode 3 of my Java game development series. In this episode, I'll cover basic OpenGL rendering using the lightweight Java game library. Last episode, in episode 2, we created this code. The code simply created a window with the title Hello, Lightweight Java Game Library. We're going to take this same code, copy it, create a new class, paste it, let Eclipse change the names, and then use it to elaborate. First we're going to start with the initialization code you need for OpenGL. These are four statements, which stay roughly the same through all your coding projects. The first statement is GL matrix mode. And as parameter, GL projection. You should understand that OpenGL is a state-based engine. That means a lot of these methods specify states. They say, hey OpenGL, I want you to enter the matrix mode GL projection. The next statement is GL load identity. You really don't need to know what that does right now. It's not really important. The third statement will invoke GL ortho. We'll set up the OpenGL's pr perspective up so that the upper left corner of the screen is 0x0y and the bottom right corner of the screen is 640x by 480y. So the first parameter will be 0, the second will be the width, so 640, the third will be the height, 480. The fourth will be zero. The fifth will be the Z near. This is only used for 3D, and since we're going, since we're only going to do 2D in this tutorial, we we can just set this to one. And the last one, the sixth parameter, is going to be minus one. Finally, the fourth statement will be GL matrix mode GL model view. So that's everything for the initialization code you need for OpenGL. Let's go on to the render code. To start drawing a shape in OpenGL, you first need to invoke GL begin. Then you've got to specify the type of shape you want to draw. In this case, I'm going to draw a line. Now we're going to specify some vertices of that line. We're going to invoke the method gl vertex to i. So we're going to set one vertice, the origin of the line, in two dimensional space with an integer. You could also choose float or double to 100x, 100y. The destination of the line, the second vertice call will be at 200x 200y. Once we're done drawing lines we can invoke GL end which will indicate that we'll stop drawing the lines. If I run this application 
can see it created a line starting at 100x, 100y and ending at 200x, 200y. This is just a simple shape. The most commonly used shape in OpenGL is the quadrilateral. To draw a quadrilateral, so we'll specify GL begin quad and you want to put four method calls to GL vertex. The first one will specify the upper left corner of the quadrilateral. The second one will specify the upper right corner. The third one, the bottom right corner. And the fourth one, the bottom left corner. So this will be the upper left corner, this will be the upper right corner, this will be the bottom right corner. And this will be the bottom left corner. If I run the application, you'll see that it draw a quadrilateral at the coordinates I specified. Since 500 is actually out of boundaries, I should use 450 instead. There we go. We've got our quadrilateral and we've got our line. Want to have a look at the other shapes OpenGL supports? You can take a look at the documentation on www.opengl.org. Now, if you have a dynamic render canvas, which most graphical applications do, you want to invoke GL clear before rendering anything. As parameter, you'll as parameter you'll give GL, color, buffer, bit. And if you're using 3D space, you'll put a bitwise OR and specify GL, depth, buffer, bit. So there we go. This was episode 3 of my Java game development series. I hope you enjoyed it and until next time.